Hey everyone! Welcome to From the Depths. I'm Minty and this is episode 3. Right, 3? Yes. 3 of the Battleship Brawls Season 8 Tournament. In this episode we've got the Pulsar by Delta Force. Which is a, a literal, literal barge with its underslung APS. The Super Cav. Going up against the HMCS St. Lawrence by Stonewall 1815. Which is uh, a cram boat. Don't understand why the the barrel loading bug there, or the barrels just don't load in. Don't understand how that happens, but you know whatever. They're act they're still there, so the cram cluster indeed. Now all the cargo containers have despawned. Whatever, they'll be back in a moment. Let's go ahead and get the prediction started. Pulsar or Lawrence? Predictions have begun. You've got one minute. Pirates have been sneaky tonight. Yes, indeed. And let's get the battle underway. Oh, are those containers not really there? Are they decoed? Because <laughs> those shells just went straight through it. No, nope, some of them are there. Because they're taking damage. They're being destroyed. Let's check on the underwater action here. Oh boy, we can see steam. Oh, looks like some of the... Props have already been damaged. There's only one active propeller left, at least in the rear. Oh, we've got a disabled main gun. This is not looking good for the St. Lawrence. Oh, and two of them, two guns pop off, and that's uh, that's why you don't generally don't want to have your guns clustered together like that. Pulsar has taken a pretty good chunk of damage itself, but not nearly as much. Yep, all the guns on the St. Lawrence are gone. It's just a matter of how much damage does it take before the battle ends. I don't think the St. Lawrence is going to survive. There's more than enough time for the Pulsar to finish it off. <laughs> right, Pyrotech? I do not remember, driver. I want to say it, it, it. I think it's APHE, but I, I don't remember for sure. Yes, lots of block confetti, and 
right, Stonewall's down to its last 1.7% HP. Um. Okay, it, it did reach two damage, and Pulsar just stopped firing. So that's uh, some pretty sharp, sharp red there, I think. Or the AI or something, because it just stopped. All right. So, 87.8 to 0. <laughs> yeah, Pulsar, my work here is done. Exactly. Let's get round two started. No war crimes here. Not in this match. Oh, so those are Decodon. They were disappearing because the source block was getting destroyed. time the uh, the damage is pretty even right now pulsar is winning but one cram volley can easily change that if they all land but a lot of them are bouncing off the water and missing That was a heavy hit. Let's go check on the stone or the St. Lawrence. She's listing pretty heavily. She's taking hits to where her guns are, but they're still still functional at the moment. But that list is very worrying. The turrets are overbalancing her, right? I think this gun is just out of its firing arc. It's probably still active. Uh oh! Looks like the St. Lawrence might be sinking, or it's because a good chunk of it is underwater. has managed to stop earning DQ points, but that's just going to give Pulsar time to get it to 80% in sinking instead. It's not getting 80% in sinking, but yep, that's a DQ from sinking. Now Pulsar can even out the list, right? 83.6 to 0. St. Lawrence is going to really have to step it up this, this round if it wants to have a chance of... Uh, coming back via the vote it's this is its last chance and that opening volley was aimed kind of poorly oh you wanted to look at pulsar at the end of that round my bad didn't see it in time Oh, that was a pretty hefty hit. No, it was not.
Yeah, those those uh, water skips and just shells missing are really killing the St. Lawrence here. Oh, looks like the St. Lawrence has lost a gun. Pulsar's getting in behind the the St. Lawrence. Oh, the St. Lawrence has no materials. All its material containers have been destroyed. It's helpless. Loading the forks and spoons into the guns, right? Look at all that confetti. Another turret cap blown off. Not that... Well, if they destroyed a turret, then the St. Lawrence might recover materials from it and then be able to shoot its remaining guns. But now there's only one gun remaining, so that won't work. Oh, right. Container damage. Yeah, no containers, no materials. It doesn't matter if the turret pops. You are correct. Oh yeah, Pulsar is kind of low on mats, isn't it? It doesn't it doesn't have enough despite all the cargo containers on it. It doesn't have like it's well it's just kind of burning through them real fast. But it does look like the St. Lawrence is going to be destroyed again. Pulsar is at risk of doing a corn if it loses containers. It's just funny because it has so many cargo containers on it visually. And that'll be that. 92.8 to 0. That means there will be no vote for this match. Because there's uh, no way the St. Lawrence can come back. Even if it gets 100% of the votes, it will still lose. So that is unfortunate. Delta Force fielding a strong entry this time around, that's for sure. Yeah, Harness. That is true. We'll see how it how it does against uh further entries in the future though. Yeah, I know BRM, but most of the time the match is decided in the first five minutes anyway, and, the, and we're just waiting around to see what happens for the last five, so I figured this would uh, be a little more palatable to view. Underwater guns are scary indeed. But yeah, that will be the end of this episode and of the stream, folks, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy... Oh, wait, hold on. Prediction. I have to award the prediction. The Pulsar won. Clearly, it's the reason to have three matches instead of two per stream. See, I thought about that, but that won't really help because of the whole putting them out one day at a time thing. Like, we just end up, we get to a point where we have no matches to fight and we're just waiting for matches to resolve. Even with exhibitions. I 
I think a nice steady pace is better. So anyway, now that'll be the end of this episode, folks. End of the stream. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you on the battlefield.